So if you feel anxiety and stress in your life, it's the anticipation of what could go wrong instead of the excitement of what could go right. That is when our nervous system is getting overwhelmed. Yeah, our mind is going overwhelmed, our body gets overwhelmed, and that is when the suffering happens. This waste in our body is devastating every single one of us. As no one, I don't care how healthy you think you are, it's devastating us and it'll eventually uh, affect your health. So your relationship to anxiety is directly proportionate to your relationship with what I call aggression. You need to be you. You can never be somebody else. I think step one is taking personal responsibility. I think step two is understanding anything is possible and the world is not going to end if we just stop for a while. So all you want to do is you sit back and get comfortable. Picture in your mind what you'd like to have. Like say, for instance, I want to feel calm. I want to feel grounded. I want to feel self-love. Say to yourself the words that would accompany that. I feel good. Anytime I, I have a questionable event, I ask five questions. What's the lesson? What's the gift? What did I do to create it? It doesn't need to be a scary place. When I'm in the now, it can be a place of abundance and receiving, and it can be a place of miracles.